fouled on the play by Gray. That will be four on Gray, and Rutland is down for the count. He, will be he may have taken a shot in the, in the, in the face, Tim. And uh, over there quickly is the trainer for the Bruins. That's four on Gray. And let's hope that Rutland is only shaken up momentarily. That'll be a severe loss for the Bruins. I watch Gray. I don't think he meant to. Oh, no, no, no. Up. Inadvertently got him in the eye, apparently. A big time run. See anybody uh, uh, become injured in a, in a contest? And we just hope it's not a uh, serious injury. As you see the score in this crowd. Uh, I don't see that many empty seats. Uh, there are a few, but there's seven thousand plus four. What a, a great night for uh, Peninsula District basketball and, and doubly for the Hampton High School. What I wanted to mention, of course, the start of this was that we want to remind everybody about the Peninsula District Tournament who starts this weekend. Games Friday night and all day Saturday starting at noon on Saturday. And, of course, the semifinal and finals will be uh, the following week. Tuesday and Wednesday night are the six. And then the finals next Friday night, the 26th. We still to see uh, Tony up. And he says, I'm not sure. Frank Brown, the trainer for the Bruins, was over there along with... Uh, I thought like I was dead. Was over there. It's, it's good to see uh, the young man get up. I tell you, I thought I was dead. Bethel can put anybody in they want to shoot, but I don't know if you're going to have a better dead. shooter than Tony Rutland. And, of course, if he doesn't come out, then he's going to be charged a timeout. The Bruins will be charged a timeout. They see Mike Bailey or huh? Bob 